What's up, Phase Zero BD here with Aaron Perrine. What's going on, guys? And in this video, this is your Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse reaction video. No spoilers, no official rating, ranking type of deal, but reactions. We both have seen this movie. Aaron, I'm going to let you go first. Uh, what's your reaction to Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse? Well, as you guys know, Phase Zero listeners know, this is my number one ranked movie of the year, uh, anticipation-wise. I know we've joked a lot about, uh-oh, things are going to be kind of rough for me after Guardians because uh, what else is there and everything else is moving around. I am happy to report that Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse meets my expectations. It is heartfelt. It is uh, warm. It exhibits the same sort of love for Spider-Man, the character, that if you really care about this character and all versions of this character, you're really going to have a good time. I really oh, yeah. thoroughly enjoyed myself and cannot wait to go see it again. Yeah, I think this movie is nothing short of phenomenal. I, I was in the theater thinking, how does this movie exist at times? Because it is creatively just one of the most impressive things I've ever seen. From an animation perspective, what these directors, what these filmmakers, even I, I imagine a lot of it is even baked into the script, is just nothing short of remarkable, unique, incredible. In terms of does it live up to the first movie? For me, in every way, yes, except it is very much a part one. What do you think about that? The, in some of the interviews, the directors have talked about this is their Empire Strikes Back. So they're hoping that there's going to be a massive, massive hook for you to come back next summer for Spider-Man beyond the Spider-Verse. And I think they accomplished that, although it does feel like, wait, what? There's no more. Wait, what What, what are we going to, what's going to happen? You know, that sort of thing uh, is there. It does live up to the legacy of the first film in every way. Joaquin DeSantos and his team, they deserve a ton of credit for meeting the first Into the Spider-Verse right where it is, you know? It, I Honestly, in some ways, I honestly think it exceeds the first one for me. Creatively, it's one of the most creative films I've ever seen. The first one is extremely creative. I remember the first time you step into the multiverse and you see how, oh, look, they changed the movie titles. They, they did this, they did that. They used the animation to build the world. And in this one, they take that even further. Uh, I, I would, that's what I was most impressed with was the visual creativity, but the story itself, I mean, I thought that first one was incredibly inspirational. I don't know if this one has that same level of inspirational heart for me, not saying it doesn't have that, but I thought the first ones were, the first one was just the maximum amount you could have in a film. And this one has a ton of that. What do you think? Um, I, I really felt like the emotional, like her gut punch. I can't get it. We can't come to specifics, guys. So I can't say exactly what, but like there are things in this that really did make me feel and made me care. And I think for people who may be burned out on multiverse stories, I feel like there's not an appeal to sort of this like infinite possibilities means that there's no real tying down to a material world. This will make you care about the characters and the things that happen to them and the things that they face and the sort of the dilemmas in ways that maybe in some other multiverse projects that we've talked about at length on this show that maybe they did not deliver. But I feel like this one does give you those, those oomph moments of like, hey man, you care about these characters. You care about what happens to them. You care about Mazla Earth and the guy selling beef, beef patties in Brooklyn and like all that stuff. You know? Yeah, you're, you're invested in this film. This movie gets you invested and keeps you invested. And it, you know what it gets you invested in that I feel like a lot of Marvel Studios movies have not is the multiverse. I thought the multiverse of it all, not only the creativity and how they display it, but it makes me care about other universes and characters from other universes. It makes me so excited Every time we're traveling through universes, every time we're going somewhere new, the thought of where this could go and beyond the Spider-Verse after this movie is just, this is hands down, like this is what mopping the floor with what the MCU has done with the multiverse so far. This is the best multiverse storytelling from a comic book adaptation I think I've ever seen. It is so impressively done. The levels of creativity and how they visually represent that are incredible. And the emotional depth to it is so impressive. Yeah, Spider-Man Across Spider-Verse, ooh, it's going to be up there at the end of the year. It is it's going to be up there at the end of the year, for sure. And I want to say, too, there are a bevy of characters from other universes that you've never seen on screen before that we are going to see at Comic-Con. We are going to see people cosplaying certain characters at Comic-Con, for sure. I'm telling you right now, I'm buying that. I am buying the Spider-Man 2099 skin in Fortnite immediately, dude. Like, it was, <laughs> th there's there's a ton of characters and surprises and stuff, but there's there's just so many characters that I think are people are going to come out of this with different favorite characters. Absolutely, 100%. Yeah.
Everybody in this cast deserves a round of applause. People who are not in this maybe as much you think, or maybe they are there more than you think, are very, very good and have such a good role to play. The characterization is spot on. If you love any weird variants of Spider-Man, if they pop up and they do stuff, even if they're only there for a little bit, you will get some of the characterization I think that you enjoy about those characters. And there'll be other takes on those characters that you find like, well, that's really kind of cool. I never would have thought about doing that with that character. That's really awesome. I know that some of us might not want Miles to be like a linchpin of the MCU's like multiverse, but it seems like he's a really good way. He would be a really good way to get people to actually give a crap. I'll, I'll tell you right now, if Sony and Marvel found a way to collaborate with this story, this is a story that Marvel Studios would benefit from. The Marvel Cinematic Universe would benefit from the multiverse being centered around this. And I almost am hesitant about that because I think this is such a delicate, fragile bit of perfection, which we don't see in this space right now, that I'm like, well, maybe it should just completely continue to exist on its own. But maybe it won't. Maybe it will. I don't know. But I think, uh, man, it, this is the best multiverse. This is my favorite multiverse story I've seen in the genre. It's right up there with everything everywhere. Like, it's... It's have you so seen good. Flash too? I have seen Flash. And Flash, yeah, honestly, it, I think Flash does a better job of multiverse storytelling than the Marvel Cinematic Universe has so far as well. But okay. this is better than Flash. This is better than ooh, Flash. Ooh, yeah, this uh -oh. is. I thought this was <laughs> phenomenal. The, 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 yeah, there, there are parts of Flash which I thought were brilliant as well. Uh, and I think Flash was a very good movie. But I think it's, Across the Spider-Verse is just like, I literally was sitting there going, how does this exist? How did they pull this off? How did they think this up and then design it? And they did. It's incredible. Uh, and I, it's it's hard to skirt around this and and not talk in detail spoilers <laughs> because there's so much I want to say, Aaron. There's so much there's I so want to say. You guys are going to want to come back for the Phase Zero Reaction podcast for this one. It will be a little bit juicier than some of the other entries that we've had, I'm sure. There are a lot of things to discuss that we cannot discuss because Jill, uh, you know, Kevin Feige and Amy Pascal will both get us and double snipe us at the same time. I'm, I'm sorry. We'll talk about it for sure. When you guys see it, you'll enjoy it. I'm telling you. Oh, yeah, so God. on that note, we will have a full review uh, about a week from now, a little bit, about a week from now, the full review for Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse will be coming to comicbook.com and the Phase Zero uh, account here. Uh, and, and we will have a bonus episode on June 2nd, the day of the release, where we will talk full spoilers. As you can see, we, we want to talk about this movie. Uh, I can't wait to be able to talk about it with everybody. And uh, we have an interview with the directors that Aaron did that's available on the YouTube channel. By the time you're seeing this video, that's already up there. So go get that a watch uh, and, and subscribe to our channel on YouTube because we're trying to line up some more interviews, some more spoiler filled stuff. Nothing is booked just yet, but we're trying to line some fun stuff up so we can really dive into across the spider verse. And you're going to want to hear this because there's questions I'm going to have about beyond the spider verse after you guys see the movie that I can't even tell you what those questions are yet. But uh, yeah, Aaron, anything you want to say to end the video? Uh, or anything? If you guys really loved, and thank you for coming and watching us uh, interview Chikuri Uji uh, last week on the podcast. He was delightful. If you like that, I see all the comments on social media where they're like, we love you guys talking to these villagers. You ask such good questions, you get to say. The only way we can continue to book guests and keep getting these people on the podcast is for you guys to download and subscribe to the YouTube channel and tell your friends. Because if we keep getting bigger, we get more guests, and we deliver you guys the content that you all really love. So go ahead, hit that subscribe button, hit the little bell, watch the show, and, you know, who knows? Who knows? Anything's possible in Spider-Verse. Maybe we'll have somebody else that's free to talk with. I hope so, man. Oh, man I, hope I have so, so much I want to talk about with this movie. I can't wait. So, yes, thank you, everybody. Thank you so much for the support at this point. Please subscribe. And uh, we'll see you every Wednesday with live podcasts and on the Phase Zero channel on YouTube with new videos just like this one. Uh, whenever we have something to talk about, which is pretty often. See you there, guys. Bye, guys.